With a roar of frustration, the serpent turned its gaze back to Kolo. You have been spared for now, merchant, but know this. The curse will remain as long as your greed lives. If you wish to save your daughter, you must give up everything you have. Kolo, trembling, fell to his knees. His mind raced as he looked at Adana, her face illuminated by the soft glow of the protective light. He knew what he had to do, but the thought of giving up his fortune made his heart clench with fear. But then he saw the faces of the villagers, hungry, tired, broken. He saw the land, barren and lifeless, and he saw his daughter standing strong against the curse he had brought upon them. With a deep breath, Kolo stood up and held the Serpent of Shadows high. I release you, he whispered, his voice breaking. I release you, and I give up all my wealth. The Serpent's eyes gleamed as it coiled around Kolo's body one last time, then disappeared into the mist. The Serpent of Shadows in his hand crumbled to dust, and with it, Kolo's wealth vanished. His house, his lands, his cattle, all gone in an instant. But as the riches disappeared, so did the curse. The earth stopped shaking, the mist dissolved, and the village of Kwanzaa slowly began to heal. The crops grew once more, the river flowed clear and pure, and the people regained their strength. Kolo, now a poor man, fell to his knees before Adana. I am sorry, he whispered, tears streaming down his face. I let my greed destroy everything. Adana knelt beside him and placed a hand on his shoulder. You have paid the price, father. Now we can rebuild together. And so they did. With Adana's guidance, the village of Kwanzaa thrived once more. Kolo, no longer consumed by greed, worked alongside the villagers, helping to restore the land he had once nearly destroyed. As for the mysterious trader, he was never seen again but the villagers would often speak of him in hushed tones, wondering if he was a man or a spirit sent to test their hearts. And though Kolo had lost his fortune, he had gained something far more valuable, the love and respect of his daughter and the village he had once nearly ruined. 